In essence, it's decades worth of sea level rise that's really catching up. It's closing the gap between average high tide and our infrastructure such that there's a variety of reasons that's causing flooding in streets and in communities when it used to not be that way, whether it's changing in prevailing winds, a full moon tide, you name it, because there's water's getting close to the brim, uh, you know, any disturbance is, is enough sufficiently to push water into streets, and we're calling that high tide flooding. Um, okay, let's talk about Debbie in particular. Can you tell me when you have elevated tides and then you throw in surge and a lot of rainfall what tends to happen you know this has been a, a hurricane and it came ashore and we have places like cedar key florida our tide gauges are measuring you know observed water levels that are six feet above average high tide you know that's major flooding uh when you and our tide gauges are situated right at the coast in major harbors you know a, Areas that typically aren't really affected by localized rain. So it may rain a, a half foot, and it's really not going to affect the tide gauge reading that much. But when you throw in already elevated sea levels due to sea level rise that you know are onward occurring, you know we've had more than six inches on average across the United States in the last 20 years of sea level rise. So when you throw in that extra sea level rise, uh, storm surge, and heavy rain? I mean, there's just nowhere for that water to go. In your opinion, what's the answer? Do you move everything away from the coastline? Do you build a wall? Do you build new ways for water to move around? Or is there another option or all of the above? <laughs> well, you know, it likely will be all of the above solution. And it's really going to be up to the locations. You know, what what is important to that location? The solutions are typically found and funded locally, so it really is falling on locations back. But one thing's for certain, it's an elevation issue. Lower elevations are just at greater risk, period. 